I got it. Ah! I got it. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Yes. Sweet mother of double jeopardy backstroking and butterscotch. We're on our way. Who was it? The Girl Scouts lawyers again? That was the commissioner. You'll never guess which unduly famous TV personality made the most wanted criminals list this week. Phyllis Stiller? Gavin McCloud? Wink Martindale? Close. Myra Stump, the darling hawk of daytime talk. Myra? As in America's mom? The woman who told Tom Hanks to get a haircut? Surely you jest. She's holding her audience hostage and giving them valuable gifts against their collective will. I don't normally endorse the use of the word dastardly, but this is clearly dastardly. I think. We've got to drive over to the station right away, or at our earliest convenience. Great! I've been itching to bust some skulls since they cancelled my so-called life. Sam, it's me. Open the window. I'm trapped in the ledge again. Sam, come on! I have to pee! And the PTA is here, and they're carrying signs! Hey Sam, it's me again. I found a way to solve all three of my problems at once. But I'm going to be needing bail. Hi Sam, this is your therapist calling. I have to cancel our appointment because I'm giving up the practice to go into publishing. Speaking of which, thanks for all your great material. Hubert doesn't look so hot, Max. He doesn't look any worse than he did two months ago. These donuts must be three months old. Don't throw that out! I'm saving it for a science experiment! You bet, little buddy. Welcome back, America, to day three and a half of my most special episode ever. You don't want to miss any of our exciting guests coming up this hour. Plus, everyone in the audience is going to be getting a lifetime supply of non-dairy creamer! We don't need non-dairy creamer. We need sleep. Oh, I see. You were all thrilled when I gave you cars, then all expense paid vacations, and then home entertainment centers, but now, after I worked so hard and sacrificed so much, you'd rather sleep? It's all about you, isn't it? I guess nothing I ever do is good enough for you. Maybe. Maybe we'll start using non-dairy creamer. Someday. That's more like it. You see? There's lots more fun to come, so stick around, America, and sit up straight. Nobody trusts a sloucher. Good old TV. It's the only way I still feel well-adjusted. Ah, Brady Culture's hair. It makes for an unwieldy but oh-so-enchanting memento of our first case in a long while. He howled like a sick wallaby when I shaved it off him. Good times. Mr. Spatula's looking good today. Isn't he plastic? My toes are all a twitter that we've gotten another case so close on the heels of the last one. Don't say a twitter, Sam. Well, well, Myra Stump holding her audience hostage. You watch that particular bit of daytime fluff occasionally, don't you, Max? Whenever our TV's out of hock, for some reason I can't get enough of her sharp-toothed maternal ranting. Why do you suppose Myra's got her audience captive? Who knows? Last month, Charles Groton put his hand on her desk, and she hit it with a ruler. She's very strict. You're a lovable but essentially useless lump of fur and icky stuffing materials, Max. On the contrary, I can be a vital source of alternative insight into the problems that plague you. Well, there's that. Let's get going. You lead, and I'll follow haphazardly, shall I? Alien Love Triangle Times. Looks like they're sold out. Has been Brady Culture behind bars. He finally found a way to become famous. The police blotter. It looks like candy, but I'm pretty sure it's fish tank gravel again. 
I've had worse. What ho! Samuel! Maximilian! What the? Oh, you're probably wondering how I know your names. Not really. Psst, it's me, Bosco. Hands in the air, Bosco. You're coming with us. Good heavens! What is the meaning of this? We're taking you in for masquerading as a man of class and distinction. Who at the devil? Surely you jest. Yes, surely we do. On the bright side, now you can add the police to your long list of paranoia-induced nightmare subjects. Tcha! Piffle! Pish posh! What's with the slanted soup strainer, Bosco? Bosco? <laughs> I know not that moniker. I am Lord Reginald Rumplebottom, Earl of Dukedom, the third. Sam, what language is he speaking? I'm not sure, Max, but I think it might be... English. <gasps> no, really, what made you convert to British? Everybody's got it in for me, that's why. Yeah, we heard. Well, I had to get a disguise to throw him off the trail. <laughs> They'll never find me now. They wouldn't even know where to begin to look. Clever clogs. What sick forces of evil are bedeviling you this time? It's the skin bodies, man. They're after me. Skin bodies? Sounds like a pack of belligerent nudists. Oh no. The skin bodies are like those horrible hairless cats, but ten times worse. Sure they're not a hundred times worse? Yeah. Maybe a hundred times. Maybe a million. These skin bodies, what exactly are they doing to you? They're still in my... I mean, pinching my shaving cream. Of all the things of yours they could pinch, why the shaving cream? So they can shave their bodies, of course. Of course. Not to be rude, but why isn't your fancy pants defense system stopping these skin bodies? Well, after the whole video delivery conspiracy, I figured I'd better build something to keep people from bringing stuff into my store. So? So, I needed to borrow some of the high-tech detecting parts from D-Tads. Meaning nothing stopping people from taking stuff out of the store anymore. <laughs> Dash it all! I knew I forgot something. We want to buy something. Hmm, yes, hmm. Quite so, quite so. Do you have any complimentary fresh garlic? Nope. Do you have any fine leather jackets? Nope. Do you have any gumballs the size of your head? Nope. Do you have any plus two plate armor of limitless squeezability? Nope. Do you have any Pez dispensers with the head of infamous Mexican revolutionary Pancho Villa? Nope. Do you have any ketchup? Nope. Oh, wait. Got you. Blast. Drat. Dash it all. What have you got? Well, there is still one can of shaving cream the blooming skin bodies haven't gotten yet. Oh, yeah, I love shaving. That's funny. I've never seen you shave. I didn't mean myself. And I have a most peculiar device behind the counter. What peculiar device are you so eager to pawn off on us this time? <laughs> it's the latest in Bosco Tech Innovation. A delightful invention I like to call a chemical-based voice modulator. Voice modulator? What's that? I do believe it's self-explanatory. We don't really have time to explain it to ourselves. Why don't you just explain it to us? Well, it alters the frequency of your voice molecules. Very useful, very useful. We'd like that voice modulator. That will be 30 shillings. Yeah, I left our shillings in my other pants. How much in dollars? Uh, let's see, uh, 30 shillings would be about one million American dollars. A million bucks? No way are we giving out that many tickets. I think we'll have to find an entirely new revenue stream if we want that voice modulator. Oh, worth every shilling. Trust me, trust me. Nothing for us right now. Indeed. Thanks, Bosco. Pip pip, honey nut cheerio. I could use a shave. I'll say. Your five o'clock shadow goes clear to your ankles. Horse off, pig! Dog! Pig dog! The skin bodies rule the streets! <laughs>
Blast, bugger, blinding, bollocks. The little blighter did it again. After him. I mean, tally ho! Tally ho! Where we going, Sam? <laughs> the skin buddies can't be stopped! Hey! After those rats! There they are! Let's get them! How do those laughably small wheels move so fast? You'll never catch us! The skin buddies can't be stopped! The skin buddies don't give in to nobody! <laughs> Stop now, or we will take decisive disciplinary action! Never happen, coppers! Shut up! Give up the shaving cream, skin buddies! The skin buddies don't give in to nobody! <laughs> Take the wheel, little buddy. I thought you'd never ask. Missed him. <laughs> the skin buddies can't be stopped. The skin buddies can't. Oof! Hey, the shaving cream. Okay, hold on tight, little buddy. Where we going, Sam? The TV studio. Goody! Well, here we are, Max. The TV station with programs too old to be contemporary, too new to be retro, but consistently derivative enough to be popular. W.A.R.P. Television's so mindless, you can't help but watch. Oddly quiet in here. Mysteriously so. Well, let's find this Myra character and smack some good old-fashioned sense into her. I don't care if we smack it into her or smack it out of her, just so long as there's smacking involved. You crack me up, little buddy. Stand aside, casually attired stagehand. We're Sam and Max, freelance police. We've come to save some pathetic hostages from the clutches of... Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Number one, I'm not a stagehand. I am the director. The director! Could I fool... Number two, we're no longer holding the auditions for animal cops with crippling mental disabilities and a lust for dance. Oh no, we're not actors. You got that right. I don't think I've ever seen worse acting in my entire life. And yes, I have seen Keanu Reeves' performance in Toast, the musical. Sam, I think my hypersensitive ego may need stroking. Don't look at me. Next! Who's next? You don't seem to understand. We're highly untrained police officers. Look, hats off for dedication, guys, but I'm just not buying the police act. I feel so invalidated. We're looking for Myra Stump, the darling hawk of- Do not mention that name in my presence. Which name? Myra or Stump? Either and or both. What's your beef with Myra? Let's just say Myra and I have creative differences. I'm creative and she isn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was your question? You and Myra, why the hate? Look, Myra runs her show her way, and I run every other show my way. If she doesn't want me on her set, I could care less. You mean you couldn't care less. If you could care less, then you do care some, which doesn't really... No, I was right. I could care less, because I care even less about what you're saying right now. Oh, burn! Quiet, knucklehead. 
What are you doing here, anyhow? What am I doing here? I'm holding auditions for Midtown Cowboys. What are you doing here? Midtown Cowboys? The critically panned but publicly adored sitcom about two cattle ranches trying to make it in Midtown Manhattan? Yes, well summarized. You're hiring extras? No, I'm hiring the stars. The two main characters went on Myra a couple days ago and I haven't heard from them since. I need replacements ASAP. Sam, did you hear that? If we can pass one lousy audition, sitcom stardom will finally be ours! Rocketing to fame for the most insubstantial of reasons. That truly is the American dream. We'd like to apply for that instant stardom you promised? You want to audition? Well, if there were anybody else here, I'd tell you to forget it, but okay. All right! What do we do? I'm going to have you play a scene from Old Yeller. Tell me you've seen it. I'm not into horror movies. It's the classic boy gets dog, dog gets rabies, boy shoots dog story. Max, I want you to play the boy. Yes! Boy! That is so me! And Sam, you play the dog. Oh. Okay, Sam, ready. I need you to act like you've got full-blown rabies. Understand? What's my motivation? You're a mad dog! Now, show me, rabbit. Um... Grrr. No! Dig deep! You should be just... frothing mad! Hmm... Brilliant! Now that's what I call diseased! Thank you, thank you. First off, I'd like to thank all the little people who- Zip it! Okay, Max. I just realized your dog is walking death, and you'll have to put him down for the good of society. Really? You're sad! You're despondent! You're grief-stricken! Now, show me the emotion! Uh, boo-hoo? You call that emotion? I've seen Myra show more emotion, and she ought to be declared a national Botox reserve! <laughs> grief, I said! Give me grief! Uh... Now, the fateful moment has arrived. Despite your immense grief, you must put your beloved companion out of his misery. Okay. Uh-oh. <gasps> <gasps> Idiot. What demonic force possessed you to do that? The demonic force called acting, Sam. You should try it sometime. Good thing I had my anti-hypnosis helmet built into my head, or I'd have one too many holes in the head. Bravo. Bravo! Such realism. Such authenticity. I was convinced you were actually shooting him. How did you do the sound effects? You don't want to know. The search for the Midtown Cowboys is over! You're hired. Head to the set next door and we can begin filming immediately. Let's hurry, Sam. We only have 14 minutes and 55 seconds of fame left. All right, people, let's get the stage set up. The celebrity host will be here any minute. Oh, right. The crew's working on Myra. Stupid, no talent, fat face. Weren't you just? I think she just defied the laws of physics. Sorry, you'd be amazed how many times a day I have to do that. Things tend to be hectic here. Doesn't bother us a bit. Sam and Max, consummate professional actors, reporting for duty. <laughs> you said duty, Sam. I knew you guys were right for this show. Speaking of which, could you perhaps explain the show a bit? Okay, here's the drill. On Midtown Cowboys, you play a pair of cattle ranchers trying to raise a herd in an apartment in Manhattan. My Uncle Ernie did that, except it was pigs. And not in an apartment. I only see one cow. It's a small herd. You're struggling, okay? Okay. You've got this landlord, Mr. Featherly, who has a very strict no-cows policy. Devilishly inconvenient. I begin to see from whence the hilarity sprouts. Yes, Featherly is always barging in, and you try to hide the fact that you have a cow in the apartment. Lots of sight gags, usually something gross winds up happening. Simple enough? Great. Where's the script? Well, there's a slight hitch. The cow ate most of the script, so you're going to have to ad-lib the show. Ad-lib? Yes, make it up as you go. Improvise. Well, I guess our regular life has given us plenty of practice. 
Don't worry, you'll be working with Philo Pennyworth, who plays Featherly. He's a brilliant actor, classically trained, globe theater and all that. Just set him up to do something funny and he'll handle it from there. Check. Anything else? Actually, yes. We did save one line from the script, and it's really important to work it in, because it's the product placement that pays for the whole show. One of you will have to save the line. Me, me, pick me! All right, Max, your line is this. Better get the serious toothpaste. I like it already. We're as ready as we're ever gonna be. Let's start taping the show. Okay, now remember. Your landlord's at the door, and you don't want him to know you've got a cow in there. Ready? Action! They probably had it a cow. Open up in there! I know you're hiding a cow! Let there be light. Goodness, who left this lying here? Aha! I know you've got a... Well, 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 who's your guest, boys? This is my octogenarian uncle, Griswold, a retired chimney sweep from Lower Nebraska. Now he travels the world chasing cyclones in a mobile home. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. I'm something of a twister buff myself, <laughs> ever since I saw the Wizard of Oz when I was a boy. Say, what's this? <laughs> I I'm sorry, what was that you said? He said, meow. Uncle Griswold thinks he's a cat. He's awful big for a cat. Just be thankful he's not in heat. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, I'm just not sure where we're going with this. Can we start again? Cut! <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was. Let's have another go at that scene, shall we? See if you can squeeze in some gross-out humor this time. Ready? Action! Goodness, who left this lying here? Let there be light. Hey! There we go. Life of the party. Aha! I know you've got a... Well, 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 who's your guest, boys? This is the French chef we hired to satisfy our inexplicable, insatiable craving for omelets and duck a l'orange. And frog's legs. I like mine extra crispy. Oh, a French chef, eh? I love French bread and, and French fries. I went to Gay Paris one time myself, you know. It was back in my army days. Say, what's this? <laughs> I I'm sorry, what was that you said? He said moo goo gai pan. It's a French dish the chef has just made. Whoa, super! I'll try some of that. Where's the plate? I can't help but feel this is all terribly wrong somehow. Interesting. That's one word for it. Hmm. 
There's a familiar flavor. Fennel, maybe? Kentucky bluegrass, I think. This moo moo whatever stuff is really good. Uh, what's it called in English? Cow pie. Really? Well, that's funny. It sounds just like. <laughs> Now? Now. <clears throat> Better get the serious toothpaste. Zoom in. And cut. Phew. That was comic gold. The network is going to love it. Naturally. I'll be in my dressing room refreshing my muse. Don't call me for at least an hour. Nice work, you guys. Here's a clip for your reel. Thanks. <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was.